Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habita fila a question was asked from one of our ikhwa of fadla regarding an older sibling or an older brother who distracts him and calls him to disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he's trying to practice the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this is a common <clears throat> a common scenario for many of our brothers and sisters that they face the challenges of trying to practice their religion and they are surrounded by people sometimes blood relatives who fight them and sometimes fight the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and so in that case ahabta fillah it's very important again to exercise patience and not to cut ties in totality bi idnillah but if they're calling you to shirk if they're calling you to kufr disbelief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they're always assaulting you in your deen and they're a blood a very close blood relative it could be your parents could be in this scenario the older brother the older brother's right is not like the parents so the parents you would be patient but you would keep yourself at a distance and remove yourself from their disobedience you would stay away from their disobedience but if they are calling you to total disobedience and assaulting you in your religion then there may come a time when you may have to cut them off but those are in the most extreme of cases so it's very important to learn how to manage this is why i advise to be a manager that you have to manage your relations so since it's an older brother you can generally tell him hey i'm trying to practice my islam if you've abandoned islam or if you just want to keep in disobedience to allah inviting me to pornography inviting me to girlfriends inviting me to the club inviting me to disobedience i don't want anything to do with that so you can tell your brother generally uh very in a in a very direct way you can deal with that and if that doesn't work then you distance yourself you don't have to cut yourself off you still give him salams you still see him but you distance yourself and this is a type of hajr waqaya this is a, a a type of hajr or a type of cutting off in order to protect your religion and again it doesn't have to be total you can still give salams and you treat him respect but you keep it pushing meaning that you move uh you, you give him salams and then you go and do your own uh business do what you have to do go to work go to school go to your room go to do other things and just say hey i'm not with that i'm on obedience to allah and this is a part of managing your relationship so this is something you will find that is very important cuz all of us have to deal with that sometimes you have elders that you're doing your best to respect but they disrespect you and sometimes they oppress you and sometimes they go to the extent of harming or harming your your persons by insulting islam or transgressing the bounds with regarding with regards to allah wa rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam so in those cases because they're a blood relative and maybe they're very close could be an aunt could be an uncle could be a parent then you need to manage that relationship you need to strive your best not to cut those ties but at the same time you keep a healthy distance and that will send a message to them some of them may come to obedience to allah some of them may go further away but you're doing your part you've made every effort to do the the right thing so you need to manage your relationship and we ask allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything i said that was correct was from allah azza wa jalla anything that i said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam